Welcome, this is i3. Now all I've done is change the wallpaper and I've also installed Polybar to move things along a little bit, a little, uh, a little faster. So as you can see we've got i3 bar at the bottom here, um, i3 status. And yeah, I don't really like it, I like Polybar. Polybar is easily customizable and you can add a lot more stuff to it with a lot more ease. So the first thing we're going to do is going to replace uh, i3 bar with uh, polybar and then we're going to create a scratch pad. So a, a, toggleable, a toggleable terminal that can overlay everything so you can bring it to the foreground, do what you need to do with a terminal and uh, shoot it off to the background to do its thing where you continue your work. It's, it's uh, it's a good function, I like that function. So let's get started. So we'll, what we'll do is uh, I'll check my preferred applications to make sure that, yep, URXVT, that's the terminal I'll be using. So we'll bring up Subble. Here's the i3 config, I've got that all loaded up, ready to go. Um, first thing I might do is search for Termite. Oops. find termite and we're going to replace termite with urxvt then we're going to reload first thing we're going to do so now when i do super return i get a terminal because i don't i don't install termite i only have urxvt and second of all what we're going to do uh well first of all let's let's get uh polybar active and so let's search for polybar polybar no next one next one next one there we go so we're going to execute that and where was it back down here on bar and then we're going to get rid of bar so let's do that status keep going all right get rid of the curly brace there we go now we reload and we should have polybar there we go polybar is all, all done now let's go to workspace 2 open up the web browser and I should have it already there because I've done this a couple of times there we go github now these are old dot files but they've still got some good little nuggets in there for us to use if we want them and we'll go to i3 now let's look for scratch pad let's get a scratch pad going all right so here we go we've got the key bind we're gonna have to change the key bind so where are we let's have a look here that's where the rules are key binds yeah we'll put them no that screenshot we'll put them there even though they're not workspace related but it'll do uh, mod shift return opens up our um, file manager so we have to go t so let's check that let's do mod shift t nothing happens let's do mod shift s nothing happens excellent all right so they're not bound to anything so we'll keep them the way they are now we need the window rules so when you open up urxvt with the title of uh, scratch the window rule will go okay this is floating and we're going to also move it to the scratch pad so there's that one now our rules were down here there we go stick that there and we want to also execute it on startup so when we first start up it gets pushed to uh, terminal gets pushed to scratch pad and all we have to do then is toggle our scratch pad and it's all there for us ready to rock and roll so we'll set that up to start up and I'll stick that underneath polybar if I can find it let's search for polybar again there it is and we'll stick it under here give it a title like everything else so it's easier to find 
like that. Now let's restart. There we go. Give it a moment. Let's toggle it. Oh no, it's not working. So we'll do mod shift T. Now mod shift S, and there we go. All right. So now we've got a scratch pad terminal. How cool is that? So hopefully this was informative, and uh, thanks for watching.